Okay, everyone, welcome again to Mr. Roberts Live, and uh, I got some special shampoo on the weekend. Rubbed it on my head and got all this lovely hair. I'm just being silly, aren't I? That's a funny hat. Okay, I hope you're listening carefully today. No real announcements today other than those people who are going swimming, and I hope that's all of you. Make sure that you remember all of your swimming gear this week. And I hope you are enjoying the swimming and learning how to swim even better than you currently can. We've also got assembly this afternoon and I look forward to giving out some school spirit awards and some challenge awards for those of you who've been either helping others and, and being good citizens in our, our school or uh, learning lots of new things. Now, two weeks ago, when you listened to the first Mr Roberts Live, I put up the word fortnight and I'm going to put that word up again and you can see that on your screen there the word fortnight and I hope that uh, many of the year ones and certainly the year twos are also learning how to spell the word fortnight and I hope you remember what the word means now the word means two weeks two weeks is a fortnight and we need to know that one week is seven days, so two weeks, a fortnight equals 14 days. So that's just going a little bit over what a fortnight is. Now, I've got something here, you can all see that, and I bet you're saying it's a basketball. And you would be right, that's a basketball. I've also got something here, that's called a soccer ball. And I've got this little thing here, I think you'd call it just a softball. I don't know, or a squishy ball. Okay, so they're all, three of them are all balls. I think that's what you would normally call these things. And I'm not sure, I wonder if you can think how you know that it's a ball. But I've got something else for you. Can you all see that? Now we would call that normally a globe. That would be the word we would use, a globe. And we'll see, we'll find Australia. There's Australia down there. Okay, and that's the world, basically. It's a representation of our world. So that's a globe. And uh, these things, balls. Okay, it's a basketball. I wonder is anybody clever enough to think of a word that describes all of these things. There's actually a proper word for what type of shape these balls and the globe are. There's one word that covers all of those and that word is sphere. So even if you're in prep, you can remember that this is a sphere. And you see a sphere is round. It's like a round ball is a sphere. Okay? And I'm not sure, can you see that on your screens? And as I said before about the word fortnight, our year twos and most of our year ones should be learning how to spell the word sphere. So that's the proper name given to these shapes. So if you see one of these shapes where you're playing handball or something, you can be really clever and say, this is also a sphere. It's a ball, but it's also, proper name is, a sphere. Now, I'm going to show you one more shape. Oh, it's going to go off screen for a second. This is another ball. It's my favourite type of ball, a football. It's not a sphere. See how it's different? They're both balls. But this is a sphere, this is not a sphere. 
Okay, so I'll be hopefully hearing lots of you telling me about how to spell the word sphere and what a sphere is as I go around the playground. And don't forget, two weeks is a fortnight. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.